Hi, welcome to an NX10 video tutorial. It's another user wish and I had to do it in a certain way to fulfill the user wish. So let's start with a sketch. Maybe on that plane. And that's just a circle. And the diameter should be one hundred and twelve one one two enter that's fully constrained I'm done always try to make very simple sketches finish the sketch and I need another one or maybe first I can make an extrude with this one the distance should be 16 and I want to use an offset and that's the trick. See, I make it two-sided and the outer diameter should be 160. So the difference between this one and that one, that's a radius of uh, 56 and that one's a radius of 80, the difference is 24. So I make it an offset, start 0 and 24 and I got the required volume. Then I need another sketch on the same plane. It's another circle, not centered. It's maybe here and the diameter is 20. And I need a construction line from that point to the origin. Okay make it for reference only. Then I need an angle. This should be 45. Take note that's parameter P6. And yeah, this should be nope. That one should be 84 and close it. This sketch is full constrained. Finish the sketch, make an extrude, make it 16 with this sketch and take care the boolean operation is none so I got two bodies. Okay, maybe let's hide the sketches like this. I want to pattern this ge geometry. So let's go for pattern geometry. And that's the object. It's circular. The vector is not x, z, but z, c, this one. And this point is the origin, that's OK. And make it count in pitch, 2 or 3 whatever you like. You can change it with this one parameter and make this angle the P6 parameter. Yeah, That's the specific user wish. And OK. Now let's remove these three objects from that one or first because he wants only half of this so I go for trim body and I want to trim this body with that plane and OK now let's remove let's say subtract target is this body and I want to remove the tool that's this one that one and that one and OK now let's make a shell. I want to remove this, that one, this one, that one. The remaining walls should have a thickness of 2. You can change it with this one parameter. Make it 3, then you get 3. Alternate thickness, I don't have any alternate thicknesses, so I can confirm it. 
and if you want to have edge fillets or edge blends make it that's one two three four five six apply and make the other ones let's say two and okay there are some holes so let's go for hole and I just use the middle point of this edge so let's take this one yeah diameter is 10 and that one and confirm now if you want or maybe you should according to the user wish this part should be a, a little bit different I have to mirror it let's mirror the geometry I want to mirror this geometry along that plane apply and I could mirror these two with that plane too so let's unite these two bodies this one and that one okay and if you want some more holes like here you can do it if you now change the angle let's go to the tools expressions p6 that's the parameter move it over here change this value to 50 Make apply you will see the change confirm it and I'm done hope you enjoyed this video I will do this exercise in the other programs as well see you to next one bye bye